And what about Amelia? I love that little girl. I know you do. I give her presents all the time. And cards. Only this morning Wouldn't I... want any harm to come to her, would you? I didn't make her ill. No, I'm not saying for one second that you did. But what if you had? Come in. Sorry, you needed a reception urgently. Christmas Eve it was. They say a lot of people die at this time of year because they're cold or just give up. But that wasn't Mum. We always had lovely Christmases. She was looking forward to it and the New Year, a special one it would have been, 1980. And then straight after the funeral, of course, Twelfth Night came round. But I just thought I'd just keep the stuff up a bit longer. Just couldn't bear to take them down. It'd be like losing her forever. And then, well, the next year came. And I thought, we need some new things. See, she liked getting new bits for the tree every year. Fancy lights, fresh tinsel. Always had the same angel, though, for the top. <laughs> Said that was like me when I was a little girl. <laughs> and then I had all the cards to write, of course. We had a lot of family then and friends. And I always do want to mum as well, you know. <laughs> Probably daft. But they do have Christmas in heaven, though, don't they? That's where it all started. Of course they do. Stop posting them now, though, half the time. Well, how come? Well, they're probably dead by now, most of them. And I haven't got any friends of my own. Not really. Well, maybe you should think about getting back in touch with some of them. What if they answered and came round to see me? So what I am now, just a silly old fool. I hope this isn't any more of Heston's nonsense. I'm sure there was someone out here somewhere. this cost? Um, uh, Mayor Culpa, you will be reimbursed. Call yourselves doctors. You're a disgrace. The lot of you.
Fine, fine, fine. Now there's nothing to look at here. Everyone go home. Oh. Lily? No, not now. Oh, for heaven's sake! What on earth? There's a condition, you know. An illness, you mean? It's called obsessive compulsive disorder. That's a lot of words. But one of the symptoms can be hoarding. It's all mum's, though, isn't it? I bought it for her. Mm. But what would she have thought about all the mess? She'd have gone mad. She couldn't stand dust. And do you know why else? Well, she didn't like tree needles either. Ruin the carpet. Because she loved you. And she'd have wanted you to have a life of your own, wouldn't she? But I'm happy as I am. I like buying things and keeping them. It's what I do all day. But it's getting too much for you, isn't it, Sandra? Well, that's just my feet. Mm. And we can sort that out for you, if you let us. I wouldn't know where to start, though. I mean, look at it. Well, you start by deciding it's what you want. When, though? Well, when you're ready. It could be one of your New Year's resolutions. Listen, Heston, I can't believe the trouble you've been to. There's no need. No, and I haven't laughed so much in years, literally. So thank you. The pleasure was all mine. No, I mean it. So do I. In fact, I plan to repeat the experience on a daily basis, every day from now on. You're going to dress up as a bee in Biggles? <laughs> well, no. <laughs> Good, because I really don't think Julia would like that. <laughs> no, no, but uh, I'm going to make you smile. One way or another. Every day from now on. I shall look forward to it. I don't expect to be cut up by a worn-out piece of junk that should have been on the scrap heap years ago. What is it, then? I think it's thrush. Well, how did I get that, then? Am I the only one who's working today? You just don't want me to be happy, do you? Of course I do. All right, well, then leave us alone. You'll sort out your own messed-up life. A diagnosis murder that wasn't in the wedding plan as a bride-to-be's mum becomes prime suspect, next on BBC One Scotland.